Hi everyone, this is going to be the reading of the tarot forecast for Aries for the month of March 2022. So keep in mind this can apply if you're a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate with you. I will be also taking up some charms at the end of the reading just to get some more clarifications about this. Um, and also I wanted to mention that I'm taking uh, bookings for personal reading. So if you want to contact me to get a natal chart analysis done, you know, an astrology, um, uh, like a synastry chart reading done, a relationship compatibility, you can get in touch with me. Uh, the links to reach me are at the description box below. So you can contact me via Facebook or email and I'll get back to you and we can schedule a reading also. So let's get started. Aries, this is your forecast for the month of March 2022. So we've got a couple of different cards here. Let me just um, talk about what I'm getting up front. So I'm just going to tell you the cards that I'm getting. First one I'm getting is the Devil. The second one is the Six of Cups in Reverse. Third one is the Nine of Wands in Reverse. Then we have the Fool card, also in Reverse. Page of Swords in Reverse. Ten of Wands in Reverse. We have the Strength card. And we have the Eight of Wands as a reversal. So, I feel like a lot of you, Aries, right now you're struggling with something i feel in the month of march you're struggling with something which is keeping you in a state of limbo where you feel like you're not able to move forward with something and i'm saying this because the the eight of wands came up as a reversal and usually the eight of wands is about momentum and things moving forward and things picking up speed that sort of thing but because this is coming up as a reversal i feel like a lot of you I feel like this is your own choosing. I don't think that this is something that the universe is doing. I feel like you are choosing to slow things down, whether that's a relationship or whether that's, you know, life in general. I feel like a lot of you are just consciously choosing to slow down because you want to take a breath and just figure things out. Like the strength card is coming up as well. And strength card has to do with a lot of shadow work. It has to do with self-reflection. It has to do with also taking risks and overcoming your own fears, especially your internal fears. You know, you may have fears about money, you may have financial blockages inside, you may have fears around your worthiness or what you deserve in life. So you're, you're basically overcoming all these things. And it's good, Aries, because I think it's a, it's a time for reflection. I also feel like a lot of you are letting go of a lot of these burdens. The Ten of Wands is coming up as a reversal. And usually the Ten of Wands represents this energy of taking on way too much, more than you can chew, and you know, it's stressing you out. So I feel like this is your past energy, Aries. I don't think this is you right now. I feel like a lot of you are letting go of this burden. You may have been struggling with taking on too much or just multitasking in general, just doing way too much than you are able to, and it was really stressing you out. Um, there is someone from the past that's Still may have a bit of a hold on you and I say this because you know I got these two coming up the devil card and the six of cups is a reversal so the six of cups is coming up as a reversal six of cups is an energy of nostalgia thinking about the past usually it's someone from the past um, and in this reading I'm intuitively picking up as somebody from who you are romantically connected with Aries um, could have been a water sign for some reason I'm picking up this energy of maybe very or somebody with strong Cancerian energy could have been a Cancer Sun Moon Rising Venus or just it doesn't even have to be Cancerian but you know embodying the Cancerian energy generally so you're thinking about this person you wish things were different Aries uh, and somehow you feel like they have a hold on you or you just can't let them go and you may have cut things off with this person Aries you know you may have told them that things are not working out you both may have told each other goodbye or whatever but at this point of time, I feel like a lot of you are thinking about this person. And I feel like you just can't let them go because the devil is also coming up as uh, in the upright position. And the devil card also represents this energy of temptation, this energy, because, you know, they are both connected with these chains. And if they want to, they can easily let go of the chains because it's just about taking the chains and removing it from the top of their heads, like these two people. 
but they're choosing not to do that because they want to stay in that bondage or they want to stay in that pattern for some reason because it's very enticing you know the devil energy represents something that is very alluring very enticing which is why it's often very difficult to let go because it's probably packaged as something that you want it to be everything that you want it to be but it's it's usually not it's usually something like a test from the universe which is meant to uh, see how strong you are or whether you've learned your lesson and whether you're really let ready to let go of this cycle i feel like this person who was in your uh, life this the person who you're thinking of you know the six of cups energy the person you're thinking of uh, you may have felt like this was a fated connection probably from a previous lifetime or is somebody you felt very very connected to and you felt when you both met each other you may have felt like this was uh, kind of a soulmate connection because there may have been a very strong telepathic connection between the two of you uh, you may have been seeing each other in dreams uh, being you know very in tune psychically in tune with each other uh, which can be a good and a bad thing aries but you know i feel like a lot of you are not able to let this person go and i feel like the way you're dealing with it right now is this this fool energy in reverse where you don't want to take a risk you don't so while you're still thinking of this person from the past you've kind of closed yourself off to future opportunities and i'm saying this because the fool card is coming up as a reversal so the fool card represents this energy of uh, possibilities and looking at different possibilities opening up basically opening yourself up to new possibilities and not closing yourself off and shutting yourself off from the world but this is coming up as a reversal which tells me that areas you may have shut yourself out from people there may be a lot of defensiveness to you as well because the 10 uh, the 9 of wands is coming up as a reversal 9 of wands represents this energy of someone who is very guarded who has their walls up who is a bit on the defensive side they feel like people may be out to get them maybe because they've been hurt in the past and they don't want to be hurt anymore so i feel like this is your energy areas you may have been like this in the past but i feel like this is still your energy right now i feel like a lot of you are a bit in the defensive mode you may be choosing to reflect on a lot of things you don't want to open yourself up immediately to somebody else right now um i'm also getting the page of swords as a reversal the page of swords represents the energy of uh, again like you know this uh, a bit of a defensive harsh energy it's the energy of fear to me the page of swords often represents an energy of fear in the person because they're scared that they are going to be attacked or they're going to be um hurt in some way and so they always have their defenses up like you can see this person holding the sword up they're ready to attack even at the slightest um uh, provocation now it doesn't mean that somebody's out to get you or somebody's out to attack you aries but you may be feeling this way is what i'm picking up on um there is a lot of edgy anxiety ridden energy to this card uh, there is a lot of volatility you know tempestuous energy because there are storms happening here the clouds are overcast the waters are very turbulent you know so this this guy standing here is very much on edge um there can be this energy of paranoia as well aries like you may be feeling a little bit chaotic at this moment in time uh you may feel like a lot of people so basically what i'm picking up on is a lot of people may be struggling to trust other people at this stage, at this stage in your life um now i don't know what happened between you and this person in the past whether they did you wrong whether they hurt you in a very bad way but whatever happened between you uh you felt like this was the one you felt like this person was your soulmate but for whatever reason it didn't work out and now you are on edge you don't want to trust anybody you've kind of closed yourself off you've shut yourself off to new possibilities but one of the good things that i'm noticing is a lot of you are choosing to let go let go of the burdens let go of anything that's stressing you out letting go of um like in the past aries i feel like a lot of you did a lot of the work in the relationship maybe you were the ones reaching out first maybe you were the ones initiating contact making plans you know um texting or calling them first but i feel like at this stage of uh, your life you want somebody who reciprocates that energy 
you know, if you're giving a certain amount in the relationship, you want the other person to also give you back, you know, the same amount of energy and attention that you're giving them. And I feel like that has maybe been missing from your relationships in the past. And I feel like right now, uh, because the devil and the strength card are coming up in this reading together, I feel like a lot of you are taking the time to do a lot of self-reflection and understand why you maybe gave so much of yourself in your previous previous relationships like usually when there is an imbalance like that in a relationship it represents some kind of childhood wounding or childhood hurt because of which you may have been giving too much of yourself in the hope of receiving some kind of love and affection um, but now you're letting go of it you're realizing you don't need to do all the work in the relationship if someone wants to be in your life they will also step up and they will definitely meet you halfway or at least uh, you know they're definitely going to meet you all the way and uh, do every do at least most of the work that's required in the relationship so uh, you're reaching that conclusion and i feel like a lot of you are letting go of the extra stress and burden that you may have had in the past so i feel overall this is a very good energy for you Aries, because i feel like you're changing i feel like a lot of you are changing your behavioral patterns especially when it comes to romantic relationships which is a good thing because that also means you're closing out a lot of these cycles, maybe the negative toxic cycles, and you're ready for something new to enter your life. You're ready for um, more healthy connections, healthier relationships, uh, people who step up, who show up, whose words and actions line up, you know. You're ready to receive that kind of energy, those kind of people in your life. And I think that's a really positive change for you, Aries. So that's your overall energy for the month of March. If you like this reading, do give it a thumbs up. It really helps me stay on top of the algorithms um, on YouTube. And, um, you know, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. And if you'd like to drop in a comment, please do so. I love reading your comments and interacting with you. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, don't please don't hesitate. You can drop me a message on Facebook or email. And both the links are in the description box. And I will see you very soon in my next reading. Bye, guys.